in the hills of Sokotong, Indonesia. 30 meters underground, this is one of hundreds of unauthorized mines. It's dangerous work, but for these men, finding just a speck of gold makes it worth it. Yes, it's risky, because if we make mistakes, the ground can easily collapse. The gold rush in Sokotong started decades ago, and miners say it died down in 2018. But in recent months, hundreds have flocked back to the mines due to financial hardship. This is the risk we take to make a living. I've worked here for around one year because I have nothing else to do because of coronavirus. Unauthorised mining is an open secret here. Mines dot the hillside, impossible to miss. In villages like this across Sokotong, gold mining is part of daily life. People here depend on it for most or all of their income. And the machines used as part of the process of extracting gold are conveniently right in front of their homes. These machines are the unrelenting soundtrack to life here. Miners put mercury inside them to extract gold from the sediment. It's cheap and easy. Like it or not, we have to use it. Processing gold is how we make money. But living near dangerous chemicals comes with consequences. Five-year-old Zaim cannot walk or talk yet. He was recently diagnosed with microcephaly, a medical condition where a child's head is smaller than average, often impacting brain function. When his father worked in the mines, he would process the gold here too. And yes, he used mercury to process the gold. Researchers from a local NGO are looking into his case and other children who they say may be victims of mercury exposure. Small-scale miners keep mercury at home and use it in front of their children. For newborns, the exposure is from the mother. They have been exposed through the air they breathe. The researchers say even children with no link to mining may bear the consequences of Sokotong's gold obsession, like Narendra, who was born without eyes. I never imagined I would have a son without eyes. The doctor asked me if my husband was a gold miner, and I said no. The researchers are also conducting IQ tests on local children. They say the government must do more to educate people about the dangers of mercury. But authorities say it takes time. It is a very serious concern, you know. You cannot change the mindset within a minute uh, because they're already very familiar with that habit. Uh, it takes time. In the absence of change, it is children here who pay the real price of gold. Jessica Washington, Al Jazeera, Sokotong.